What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over skills and specializations inside Last Epoch. Whether you're new or old and you just wanna customize your character to the best it can for a certain build and you have questions of how to do it, we're gonna cover everything over skills and specializations in this video and show you how to do it. So let's get started. So in Last Epoch, as you're leveling, just like in other games, ARPGs, you have certain skills that you level up and unlock, as well as other passives and skills and masteries and all these things, and Last Epoch is no different. So when you're starting out in Last Epoch, you get access to these, these character skills right here. You start off with these and you're gonna level up from left to right and unlock them as you go. Okay, these are gonna be considered like your basic skills and just things that'll be your overall skills that you, you use to get through the entire game. Now, once you hit level 25, you unlock a mastery, which is one of these three different types you see here. We're still in beta, so we don't have access to Falconeer, but you get access to one of these at 25 and you get to pick. Once you pick a mastery, you cannot back out. So make sure you want to play a certain type when you are picking. I have to say this early in the video so that way you guys don't mess this up, okay? I picked Blade Dancer on my rogue because I want to be a melee type rogue. I wanna be slashing it and dancing, okay? Marksman is more a range type. So once you get, again, once you pick, that is it. That is all you can be is that mastery type, all right? So you have all these skills and you're gonna be able to use all of them, okay? You have access to all of these skills and these other skills down here, okay? Now your specializations is the five skills you see down here on my bar that I'm using for my build, okay? You're gonna specialize in these and this is where all the customization comes from, okay? It may seem like it's overwhelming. It may seem like it's, you know, a lot in the beginning, but it's really, really not, and it's very easy to go over once you get started. So I like to think of this as a bridge between Diablo 3 as well as uh, PoE or Path of Exile because it's a little bit more complicated than Diablo, but less complicated than Path of Exile. So specializations are your five skills that you're gonna be able to pick and kind of specialize in doing, which essentially is gonna be how the build of your character works. Okay, these are interchangeable at any time during the, while you're playing the character, and you can just, you know, test things out, do whatever you want, okay? Now, I will say this, there is a caveat. When you are specialization, like using these, there is respects and costs to respecting, but we'll get over that in just a second. So as you're leveling up, it's at a level intervals all the way up until you get to 60, I believe, or 50, and then you have all five slots you can fill, okay? Once you pick one, you start to earn points as you level up to put into your skills. And while leveling up, you can take any path you want and earn any of these little passive points that will help boost the skill's power, okay? As you're leveling up, you can see these little dots. It says connection requires a point. Connection requires two points. So as I'm leveling and I want to add points to one of these nodes to get to another node, you have to put the two corresponding points in it to bridge the gap. So I had to put two points in the Shadow Torrent if I want to go to Shadow Flourish. Okay, I, I can't put one point into it and then go here, it requires two. So keep that in mind as you're building your builds, okay? Each skill maxes at 20, okay? It maxes at 20. The reason you see me have 22 points here is because of my gear. This gear says plus two to Shadow Cascade, which as you guys can see is this skill here. Level 20 is max level, but I got two points from my gear pieces. This is very crucial to certain builds and makes them even stronger, okay? So the reason you see two un unspent points here is because I haven't put them in. So if I do this and put them in, they're there. Now with gear, because this is a big part, if I take this off, now I lost the two points. But if I put it back on, now the two points are there and I can re-spend them. So keep that in mind when you're doing gear pieces. That's why you guys see more, but level 20 is the max, okay? 
All right, so let's put, add our points in there. So specializing, you'll level these up as you continue to level in the game and you'll be able to customize these however you want. Now, well, what if I want to change something? Oh crap, I don't want this node, I want a different one. Or I wanna use a different, I wanna use a different skill. I wanna swap these out, okay? As I said before, you can respect them and you can swap them out at any time, okay? Now there's a couple things that come with that, all right? First, let's look at respecting a skill. You can remove a skill point of your choosing in the skill tree. Each point removed will reduce the skills level by one. If you're above your minimum skill level, you have to level the skill up as normal to spend these points again. So, and then you have despecialized skill. Despecializing the skill will remove all skill points and experience from the skill and allow you to specialize in a new one and put a new one in. So I'd have to despecialize this to remove it and let's and then put in let's say umbral blades okay or if i don't like how this is working out i can respec one point at a time and take it away now when it says to respec and level up the skill this means that if i reduce a skill point at my bar here i'll have to level to get that point back so you don't just un you just you don't just like respec the point and then you can spend it again you have to level the skill back up to 20 let's say right so i'll show you an example if i wanted to remove a point let's say i wanted to remove this point respect one point so you can see level 19 so now the skill is stop respecting now my skill level is level 19 plus the two from my gear so it's a level 19 skill so i have to level this bar up to get my point back I don't just get to spend it again. So keep that in mind. Now, when you respec, they get accelerated XP until you hit level 20. So you'll gain it back faster. You just have to go fight monsters and kill monsters to gain that point back. So be very careful when you want to respec. Now, if I wanted to despecialize and remove the skill entirely, then what you see here is a minimum specialized level 10 which means that if I was to remove this skill, and let's say I despecialized in it and then I want to specialize in Umbral Blades, at my current level, I would have 10 points that I could put into any skills or any notes. I would get 10 points, which makes it a level 10 skill, and then I would have the same leveling acceleration to gain 10 more levels. So my skill would be half the skill level that it currently is. Okay, so those are the penalties, as you would say, or the cost of respecting your skills and specializations. So keep that in mind. It is very important. Okay, but you can re you can um, respec or despecialize and respecialize into any skills you want, and then you just have to level them up afterwards. Okay, now each skill only has a maximum amount of points that you can put in. As you can see here, you got what? 2, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So level 20, you get one point per level. And because I have gear, I get two more points. So make sure when you're building your thing, you're only gonna get the 20 points added to the skill, which allows you to make the, the customization of your skills however you want. And there's different paths that you can take, which have certain implications or abilities that you can do, which make them do certain things, whether it's like a poison or a bleed or shadow stuff or cold damage. You know, all of the skills have a certain focus, which help you customize your builds the way you want. So that is skills and specializations for Last of Pod, guys. It's very, very simple. You get a few skills to unlock your normal skills. Once you hit 25, you un you pick a mastery. You unlock five more skills in that mastery, plus these other three bonus skills. You can specialize in them in five particular skills. Each skill gets up to 20 skill points that you can spend. You can respec and despecialize and pick a new skill if you would like, and then you would just have to level it up, which is no big deal. So building a build for characters is fully customizable. It's totally up to you. And it's a really, really great way to 
make Last of Pot characters different from anybody else's. Okay, I cannot stress that enough. So that's skills and specializations, guys. I really do hope that this video helped you. If it did, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. We just hit 8K subs. We're trying to get to 10K before Diablo 4 releases. So make sure to hit that sub button and comment down below if you guys have any other questions or what kind of skills and specializations that you're going through. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, and as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.